everybody and welcome back to the Chan Chan. Happy holiday to all of you and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Uh oh, just got dark and scary in here. I am heading out to Toys R Us really fast. I'm skirtling out there as fast as I can. I don't think that's a word, but Toys R Us closes in about 40 minutes. So by the time I get there, I'll have 30 minutes to kind of look around at the toys and such. And apologies, I'm probably so blurry and grainy, but I don't know how to film in night mode on my camera yet and I'm too lazy to look it up right now. So I haven't been to any thrift stores or toy stores in over a month now, obviously just trying to limit my exposure. So I'm going a little stir crazy, um, but uh, like in terms of toys and such, you know, I, I, I'm so introverted. I'm such a hermit that I, I can see like I could go for a year without seeing people, honestly. I, I'm that I'm that introverted. So, um, but I am having toy withdrawals and like going buying things 30 minutes uh before closing. So I'm just trying to go when it's the least amount of people as possible. So I'm gonna head out there. I am looking for He-Man and wrestling figures, those mashup figures, specifically the Mr. T one, looking for Godzilla figures, seeing the Jurassic World things and Mortal Kombat figures, just seeing what they have at Toys R Us Canada, if they have any deals on. They never have any deals there's never any deals on at my toys r us i don't know why but um so if they're ever gonna have any deals you know you'd, ex you'd expect that they'd have deals for boxing day today right so let me cut the chit chat because every little minute of chit chat is a minute lost of browsing at toys r us so let me cut the chit chat and let us go to toys r us okay so it is much much busier than i expected i thought it was gonna be like dead with 30 minutes to go but it's really really busy here I just found a Dune merchandise here. I This is the first Dune merchandise I've seen. Wow, this is so cool. And how much are these? So I think these are like $40 each if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of a lot, but I am willing to pay that. Ah, I don't know. I love um, Paul Atreides in the, in the 80s movie. I'm not a huge, huge fan of this guy. Um, it's Paul Atreides, so I don't think I'm gonna get him, but I will get the Baron because that's a cool figure. So here is Lady Jessica. Here is the back. Here's Duncan. He wants the spice, the spice melange. Is this guy. I really, really hope that they come out with a sandworm figure because the sandworm, the sandworm figures from the 80s are so expensive right now. They're like $200 for a tiny little pipe, little black pipe. There's those guys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of this guy. I don't, I don't know why. And here is 
Here's Paul. It's just, he's too like, he's too like girly for me. I don't, I don't know. I think I will just save my money and try to get like the original Paul Atreides from like the 80s. So I will get the, I will get the Baron though, cause he's pretty cool. And he has like a little stand to make him float, I think as well. That's gonna be cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that just for the display, but meh. Blockbuster party game. I miss, I miss Blockbuster. Would go in there for like an hour and still not even choose a movie. Um, what else do they have here? Okay, so they do, oh, they do have more Mortal Kombat stuff. Here, I'll show you guys. So they got Johnny Cage. Oh, it looks like this is the only single figure double pack, but it's a little on the pricey side. That's like 50 bucks Canadian. So I'm gonna pass on that. I can't believe I found this Dune figure. That's so cool. Here's their Star Wars section. Do, do, do. Carbon freezing chamber. Mortal Kombat. Some Marvel Legends stuff. Oh, look who's on sale. Look who's on sale, Captain Marvel. She's on sale for 16, regular like 30, I think. Not these guys. Monster, monster figs. And then I saw these Lord of the Rings figures. These are kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these. I love the Toy Biz ones way, way more from the early 2000s. These, these just don't really do it for me. Like they're cool and all, but I don't, I wouldn't really buy them. Yeah, the Toy Biz ones are way, way better. So I'm gonna put those back. And here is the wall of Funko Pops, the giant Funko Pop wall. Now this, this is a Funko Pop I can get behind. Gandalf on Gwar. Gwar here. Gwar. Gwar. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could totally get that. Ooh, I really want a Witch King. That'd be sweet. Uh, but I don't know, like 30? That's still kind of a lot for me for Funkos. What else do they have Funko-wise? They got Cinderella's Carriage. Some Superman. Got some Game of Thrones. Oh man, I feel like everyone's forgotten about Game of Thrones already. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, great ape Goku. That's pretty cool. Um, from Frozen 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's from Coco. It's a cool little guy. Oh, here's the Mandalorian Star Wars stuff. Some Pokemons. Oh, the Pokemons are actually really cute. Do, do, do. Ah, I got the draft. I always do this. I come in here and I'm like, oh, I don't need a buggy, but now I do. What the heck? Did that go up? I swear that was like $69 or $79. Now it's $89. That's insane. Wow. Okay, so we got Super Colossal, Super Colossal Blue. Um, here's Dinosaurus Rex. Oh, very cool. Got some Amber Collection trickling in here too. Dennis Nedry figure. I'm hoping that the Dilophosaurus... Um, Amber Collection figure comes here. That'd be nice. Ooh! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get Bumpy. I'm gonna get Bumpy because he was really cute. I got that pack the last time I went to Toys R Us in Victoria in a much larger Toys R Us, so I'm not gonna get that. I would if I didn't have it. Got Carnotaurus. Oh, there are more Bumpies up here. Okay, whatever. I thought I got the last one. I was like, yeah, I got the last Bumpy. Um, oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I talk, I, I didn't even like look fully. Wow, that worked out well. Oh, and they're on clearance, 28 and we're 44. You know what? You know what, my friends? I think, I think Laura's gonna get two of these. She's gonna treat herself. She'll have one boxed up, then she'll have one to open. Okay, but I want the best box. I want the best box for both of these. That's amazing. What else do they have up here? Got a little pack up here. Okay, wow. Wow, we got stuff done today. Where's those wrestlers? Where's those wrestlers? Oh, do you guys remember these? Do you guys remember these? I had this one on my channel. What else do they have? They have brain fart. What's this one? Bubbles? Ew, that's disgusting. It's like fart bubbles. 
Okay, what else? Gotta find those He-Man wrestling figures too now for you guys. Toy Story, okay, why is there Incredibles stuff still? Like, there's so much Incredibles 2 stuff. It's like, why is it still here? Of course, all this stuff is clearance because it's been here for like years. Okay. Toys R Us closing in 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Ah, oh, it's kind of expensive. They only have 15 minutes, so I'm going to look into that later the next time I come here. On a time crunch. Ooh, Jurassic World Lego. Man, Lego is so expensive. It's like freaking like gold. Look at that, $1,600 for that like little car? Come on, that's so expensive. Okay. What else I got? Some Super Mario, Super Mario stuff. Got some big heads. Here's a little, here's a little glance at the Lego section because I know that there's a lot of people that wanted me to check out the Lego section quickly. See what Toys R Us Canada has in terms of Lego. A lot of city things, a lot of city things. Ooh, Harry Potters. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Whole bunch of these sets, oh my gosh. It's like a whole aisle of just those. Okay. Okay, I don't see any Masters of the Universe. Don't see any Masters of the Universe. Do, do, do. Okay, I think we're done. I think we are done though, because I only got like five minutes until everything closes down. So the mall was way busier than I expected, but at least Toys R Us uh, didn't have so many people in it. I don't know if the deals and sales are like store specific or something, but mine had virtually no deals. Well, I did get that um, Amber collection Dilophosaurus for a really good deal. So I'm not really complaining about that. Was really surprised with that Dune stuff, was not expecting to see Dune merchandise there. I was kind of hoping to get some Mortal Kombat figures on sale there because I have had my eye on like the Raiden and such. Um, but yeah, so walked out with a Baron figure, um, Bumpy from Jurassic World, uh, Camp Cretaceous, as well as the um, Amber Collection Dilophosaurus. And I think I got two of them. If it, yeah, I got two of them. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, taking a little pixie, taking a little pixie of what um, I got at Toys R Us Canada. In the comments down below, let me know if you've scored any Boxing Day deals on any toys or statues or, you know, some fun figures. And let me know, let me live vicariously for, through you because there's not many deals here. So I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, a happy holiday. We're all gonna get back right to it right after the new year. So wishing you all a safe new year and I'll see you guys all in the next video. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come up with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary.